You ever have the thought, man, this is the umpteenth time that I've done this and uh, I don't know how the Lord could ever forgive me for doing this, for one more time doing the same thing. Well, hello, Wayne Hathaway here with you on Some Good Seeds on this Sunday morning. Um, and I pray that this will be a real blessing to you because that, that question is a question I think that probably every one of us have had at one point in time or another. How could God ever forgive me? I've done this so many times. And so I've, de I've, uh, I've called this devotional today uh, Familiar Territory uh, for a reason. Because the verse that I've chosen to look at is from uh, 1 Samuel chapter 12 and uh, in verse 22. And the, and the, the background for this, uh, this verse from our daily reading, first of all, is from 1 Samuel 11 and 12 and also 1 Chronicles chapter 1 and 2 Corinthians chapter 11. And uh, the verse that I've looked at and have spent time thinking about that I want to share with you today is from 1 Samuel 12, 22, and says, For the Lord will not forsake his people for his great namesake, because it pleased the Lord to make you his people. Now, the background for this is Israel has wanted a king. They have asked Samuel to give them a king because we want to be like all the other nations. And so uh, God grants their request and tells Samuel, give him the king, I'll pick the guy. And of course we know the story, Saul was the one who was picked to be the king. And uh, so this is at his coronation in chapter 12. As Samuel has gathered the people together, they're going to anoint Saul as the king of Israel. And uh, so Samuel gives them a, this address and he rehearses for them all the things that are going to take place that, that the king will do and, the, and uh, gives them essentially a warning about this whole thing. And uh, the thing that I want to extract from that for us <clears throat> to think about today is, is what uh, Samuel tells them, not so much about the king, but what he says about God. And that really is an important factor for us to think about today because it's, it's truly an amazing thing to me that, that God continues to love the nation of Israel. Uh, does that ever surprise you? Th this is now the, the, who knows how many times uh, they have forsaken the Lord and turned away from him and God has brought them back. Yet it's not a matter really of their unfaithfulness, but of God's faithfulness. And that's the, the emphasis that I want to bring to us today, to understand more about God's faithfulness and not so much theirs. Because, well, we can identify with their unfaithfulness so many times. He's a loving and forgiving God, and I want us to think about that for a moment today. He sees the misery that they are going through. Uh, why? Well, because of all their unfaithfulness, and he has compassion on them. This which is which is so amazing to me. It's such an amazing display of mercy that it boggles the mind. I mean, when you think of all the things that we've done, and yet God still has mercy on us. I mean, it's just an amazing thing. And so, uh, a couple of things that just speak to me about this. First of all, that they are once and again going down this same old familiar path. Uh, they get on fire for God and then that cools and they wind up serving the gods of the nations. And they've, they've gone this way so many times before. Uh, and yet, have they learned their lesson? Well, it would appear not. They have not learned their lesson. And uh, we can identify with that on, on so many levels uh, because it seems like we don't really, <laughs> we don't really get it very well either. But secondly, is that even though uh, this is such a, oh, I get, uh, an off-repeated scenario for them, uh, failing to remember God's goodness, uh, can, uh, going on in this situation, yet what does God do? He continues to touch them. He continues to reach out to them. And that's just so amazing to me. And I love that phrase, for my sake, it says, uh, for his great name's sake. What, what does he do in that situation? Well, he continues to reach out and touch them. And that's the thing that I love about this. I, I love uh, what Jesus says in, in um, Luke's Gospel, um, chapter 17. Uh, he talks about if, you're, if your brother sins against you seven times in a day and seven times he comes and says, I repent, uh, what are you to do? You're to forgive him, uh, even though it's the seventh time. Well, you know, my, my thought is we are so quick to say, oh yeah, well, what I do on the eighth time? I'm done with that. Uh, well, the, Jesus is expressing a principle there is that, uh, and Peter said, Lord, if my brother sins, how many times would seven be enough? And Jesus said, 70 times seven. So if we are to be that to our brothers and to be loving and forgiving, how much more is God? Because sometimes we feel like, you know, I've done this so many times. And, and the enemy is right there to lie to us and say, 
yeah, yeah, really, how could you be a Christian and do that? I mean, God, you can't expect God to forgive you this time. Listen, that's a lie from the pit. We can't expect God to forgive us. If we come to him and ask for forgiveness, he will forgive. And even though we have done this for the umpteenth time, you fail the Lord again and again and again. For his name's sake, for his glory, because of who he is, he will forgive. So I want to encourage you today, no matter how many times you failed, keep going. Don't, don't forsake. Don't turn away. Don't give up because God loves you and cares about you and what's going on in your life. And he will forgive. And, you know, that's a path that we, that we tread. Uh, it's a familiar territory. I've been around this mountain. I could give guided tours, I say, about this whole thing and, and just so, don't seem to get the principle. But listen, keep on keeping on. Uh, we're going to reap a harvest, the scripture says, if we don't faint. So don't give up today. Keep going. Trust the Lord. Believe his word. And uh, he'll, keep, he'll keep you through this time. So don't be discouraged today. But lift your heart. Lift your eyes to the Lord. And trust him again today. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you today.